In this video, let me show you how to place images inside text using AI in Adobe InDesign. Follow along and learn how to convert text to outlines, create a compound path, and use the new text to image feature to generate and place images inside text. So let's jump right in and start creating. On my screen, I have an A4 size poster for a fictional Reno Film Fest. And you can see I have a main title here, and this is live text at the moment, but we're going to convert it to outline so we can place the image inside of that text. So just remember a good rule of thumb is making a copy of this so you can revert back to it if you need to edit it. Because once we create or convert this into outlines, it will no longer be editable text. So the first order of business is clicking that and then going up to type and then choosing create outlines. And as you can see, now this is not live text. I can click on each element here. It comes in as a group or you can double click to select each word individually. But we're not gonna want that because we're gonna add the image inside all of the text and not one by one. So once you have this converted or created into outlines, the simple way of ungrouping it is pressing shift command G on your keyboard that would be shift control G on windows. And you can see now that text is ungrouped. Now, while it's still selected, I also want to create this into a compound path. And again, this will allow us to insert or place the image within the entire text as a graphic instead of one by one. So I'm gonna make my way up to object and then go down to paths and let's choose make compound path. And now this is all one unit. Now there's one more thing we have to do. We have to set the content type to a graphic. So again, with this still selected, go up to object and then choose content and then graphic. And if I press W on my keyboard, you can see that this is now being treated as a graphic. So again, it's no longer live text. Keep that in mind. That's why you would make a copy beforehand. But the next part, let's use the new text to image feature to generate artwork or an image for our text. Let's open the text to image panel, which can be found under window and then choose text to image beta. This is only available in the latest version of InDesign. That's version 19.5. Once you have the text to image panel open, we're going to type a text prompt. Now I already have mine copied, so I'm just going to paste it into the field here. And you can see that my text prompt says abstract watercolor paint comma bright teal color comma liquid fluid texture. The content type, I want this to be a photo. You can choose between photo or art and I'll choose photo because the result here is exactly what I'm looking for. And then under the aspect ratio, you can choose an aspect ratio that is preset here. So landscape four by three, portrait three by four, a one by one, widescreen or vertical, or you could choose the dimensions of the frame that you created. Now I'm gonna choose that because this is a custom frame size, but it looks like a one by one or even a 16 by nine may work in my instance. But just to be safe, I'm going to choose frame dimensions. Now, once I have my text prompt, my content type, and the aspect ratio ready to go, just click generate and let's see what InDesign comes up with as our first three variations. And so there are three variations to choose from. Here's the first, here's the second, and there's the third. So I'll stick with the third one as an example. Now to add a little bit more depth to this graphic, I'd like to add two effects. With the graphic still selected, let's make our way to the properties panel. And I wanna target the FX icon here, which is the effects icon. I'm gonna click that. And the first effect I'd like to apply to this is an inner shadow. Now you can leave the default settings, but I have some settings that I like. So I'm going to change the opacity to 50% and I'm going to change the uh, X offset to zero and the Y offset to five. And I'm gonna change the size of this to about four pixels. And I like the angle set to 90 degrees, that's just fine. The other effect that I'd like to add to this is an inner glow. And make sure that you have the inner glow selected 
in the menu here. Otherwise, you're going to be changing the inner shadow. So click inner glow. And the mode here for the blend is screen, that's fine. Um, the opacity I'll set to about 40%. And the technique is softer, that's fine. The source is the edge. And I really wanna make this a big inner glow. So I'm going to increase the pixel size to about 20. And I wanna add some noise to this as well. So I'm gonna change that, the noise percentage, to 20% as well. And once you have these settings, of course, you can customize these to whatever you like or whatever feels good on the design. And then just click OK. And then I'm going to press W. And you can see that I've added an image inside of the text. We've added an inner shadow and an inner glow, giving you this really cool design on this movie poster. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to place images inside text using AI in Adobe InDesign. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest content. If you'd like to learn more about Adobe InDesign, check out the playlist above. Until next time, take care and keep creating.